Good morning. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. This is a short, simple verse that has a lot of really good, deep, rich meaning to it. And the idea here of a wife is not just a title. It's not something you get because you went down to the justice of the peace and you signed a piece of paper saying that you and this man are married. This is more than just being a woman. This is a lifestyle. This is a way of living. It is a woman that not only pledges herself to a life of service and taking care of her husband and her children, but uh, in context of Proverbs 31, it is a, a wife is a woman who not only fulfills her, her obligations to her husband and her children, raising the family, but guiding the household and allowing it to prosper. The role of a man to bring wealth to the table, to bring the raw goods and materials to the table, and then the wife to make those things into something that can be sold, traded, that the these are these are commodities. These are these are this is a, a person, a woman who is partnered. This isn't a one way street. It isn't all all well, the woman has to do all this stuff. There's a partnership in place here. And in Proverbs 31 it goes into detail on how that the woman who is industrious and whose children are not without, they, they're not without food, they're not without clothes, they look well, they're well-maintained, they're well-mannered, they're well-spoken, they're intelligent. There's a, there's a lot of duties to actually being a biblical wife, and it's, it's not... In our society, it's looked down on, but it's actually something that should be praised and lauded that a woman, instead of pursuing a career, would pursue raising children that are not a shame to not only the parents, but to the community. And we see this a lot in our society today, the lawlessness that is so pervasive, this idea that you can just take whatever you want from someone else or hurt someone else because they slight you in some insignificant way. This comes from a broken home where both the mother and the father, this isn't a one-way street, both the mother and the father fail to properly look after those children that they create and make sure that they're not only not a shame to them, but they're not a shame to society as well. Broken homes is, is, is a source of a lot of societal ills. And a wife spending the time loving her children, loving her husband, making sure that her children are trained and raised according to the word of God. And a husband who is doing the same thing, although maybe his role is a little bit different than the wife's, it is still an important aspect of, of, of raising a family. So, the woman who fulfills this role biblically is not just as in as the English translation in this verse it says is a good thing. The woman isn't just a thing, although you know the the translation the translators did the best they could, but the word that is translated here is the original Hebrew word 
actually means blessing, which if you recall from previous studies that we've done, is a, an, ex, an exclamation of happiness. Finding a wife of this caliber is a result of ha- being in a standing of having favor with God. Our God brings good things to his children. A wife in this situation will find herself with a husband that she can delight in as well. Again, not a one-way street. This is a two-way street. A wife, a biblical wife, will bring joy and happiness to the family, to the husband, and a husband will have this have a reciprocal effect with the wife. A wife in this situation finds herself with a husband that she can delight in as well. And both husband and wife not only hold these titles, but bring joy and prosperity to one another. And as always, we love you and God loves you. God bless you and have a fantastic week in the Lord.